Tiger Tutorials. Today I'm going to be going over the Computer Science Circle Section 7C uh, coding exercise finding factors. Uh, so this whole exercise is about producing this output and the whole uh, thing about this section is looping so put two and two together and we're going to be making a nested loop that produces these items. Uh, just to understand what this is, it's uh, factorization so 1 times 10 equals 10, 2 times 5 equals 10, and so on. So basically we're just going to be doing it the uh, meticulous way of just looping through all the numbers. So let's get started. So for outer in range 1 through n plus 1, and the reason why we want to make it n plus 1 even though uh, n is 10 is because it will only go up to 9 because we're starting at 1. If we started at 0 to n, then it would loop through 10 times, but it would end on it would end on uh, 9. Yeah, so you want to start at 1 and then n plus 1. It's just an obob error if you uh, don't do that. And then uh, for inner n range, you're just going to copy the same exact loop there, n plus 1. And then now we're inside the actual nest of the nested loop. We do the if statement, and then we do outer times inner. Uh, we check and see if that's equals equals to n. And remember, n would be the 10, or whatever number they enter. So in this case, we're doing outer times inner, so it's going to loop through all. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's going to go through 1 through 10 on the outer, and then uh, 1 through 10 on the inner. But this is going to be 1, and then inner is going to be, uh, it's going to vary. It's going to be like 1 times 1, and then... Uh, 1 times 2, and then 1 times 3, 1 times 4, all the way up to 10 times 1, and then it's going to trace back, and it's going to be uh, 1 times 2, and then it's going to be 1 times, and then it's going to go to uh, 10 times 2, and, and then the inner is going to change to 3. So it's going to loop through every single variant, and it'll it'll basically being, it'll it's basically having two cars come from dif different directions at each other. That's the way I visualize, visualize it somehow. Anyway, so that that's... Uh, that if statement there. So we have a print statement here and we need to make sure that we cast the integer to a string outer and at this point it's all about uh, formatting to make sure that the algorithm that uh, University of Waterloo created uh, recognizes that the string is uh, all dandy and uh, correct. So just uh, make the formatting look good concatenate string and and that is the complete and entire algorithm and I will hit run program and we will see a fantastic success and for the first one they put in 10 and as you can see all the factors are correct the second one they put in 8, 1 times 8, blah 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 everything looks good, 7, everything looks good it all looks good. Anyways that's it for this tutorial, thank you very much